So elaborating kind of more on uh, the facts about um, drunk driving, it is true that people still do get into a car and drive um, after they're intoxicated, but um, making it making it legal for more uh, for more people in a higher age group where um, bad decisions kind of run rampant, uh, I would say definitely. It definitely would benefit to have a higher a higher drinking age um, because that makes less kids uh, drink and drive. So although it does happen, uh, lowering the drinking age would only perpetuate that. It wouldn't alleviate the problem. Um, and then as far as uh, what the affirmative was saying about um, it promoting a, an unsafe drinking culture because their uh, kids are are more willing to hide um, hide their drinking and, and not do it openly. Um, drinking would increase if it became legal and therefore would increase the, um, the damages that it does cause. Uh, so like in one study, um, eighth, amongst eighth grade females, 37% uh, of females who drank um, reported that they had either attempted suicide or thought about it, um, whereas only 11%, um, sorry, compared to only 11% of girls who didn't drink. That. So it was a far higher, um, there's a far higher risk of like suicidal thoughts and tendencies amongst um, younger, younger children who are uh, less developed mentally when they start to drink. Um, and that, that continues uh, even through the age of 18. Um, and then there was also um, some statistics put out by the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, um, that said that in um, in states where they in states where they decreased the drinking age, um, sorry, in states where they increased the drinking age to 21, they saw a 16 percent decline in motor vehicle accidents, um, which again talks to the point where if it's illegal, less people will be doing it. So. Lowering the drinking age, even though kids are already doing it, will only perpetuate the problem and not necessarily alleviate it. Um, and then after all the states uh, adopted the MLDA 21, um, drinking uh, among people aged 18 to 20 decreased from 59% to 35% from 1985 to 1991. Um, so it went down seeing almost 25% in five years um, because of the increase in the increase in the law. Um, and then one more point on the uh, um, on the other countries having a better drinking culture. Um, it's the same it's the same effect uh, that we see in other countries that we're scared of seeing here. Um, so like one case was New Zealand who raised the drinking age from eight, who lowered the drinking age from 20 to 18 in 1999, and they saw a significant spike in um, alcohol-related car crashes, and then there was another spike in underage drinking among 16 and 17-year-olds. So um, again, when you lower the drinking age, you also lower the age of uh, kids who aren't who aren't allowed to drink who are drinking illegally, starting them off at a younger age.